In July of 2013, thanks to the help of all of our wonderful donors, we were able to open this two and a half acre vacation rotation enclosure for our big cats like lions and tigers to have a two week vacation. It was such a success that we wanted to provide the same wonderful experience for our smaller cats. Many of these require that they have a roof by state law. Some are just very small and in order to protect them, they needed a roof but we had never tried any kind of a roofing system on something this large. This cage cost us $100,000, but it took us two years to build it because we were really learning as we went. My father, Vernon Stairs, has built all of the cages out here at Big Cat Rescue, and he has perfected a very unique design so that the cage walls are curved, and it's that curve that gives the cage its strength. This also gives a much more natural feeling existence to the cats, and when they do walk around their enclosures, at least they aren't pacing back and forth in a straight line and looking neurotic. Don't get me wrong, I don't believe any cat should be bred for life in a cage, and it is neuroses that you see in a caged animal who is meant to roam hundreds of square miles. This new small cat funcation, as we call it, is meant to help alleviate some of that boredom and give them new places that they can check out and mark as their own. Until now, we had no way to really give you an idea of how big this enclosure is, and even now you still can't quite tell, because on the right-hand side, you'll see the brown painted wire there. That's part of the old caging that we attached to that's another 1,800 square feet or more back in the back. The big silver area that you see is about 22,000 square feet. And by flying over it this way, you can get a feel for how big about half an acre is for these cats. Each one of the rectangles that you see down there is five feet by 15 feet. So if you were to take 16 of those rectangles, that is about the size of our cat's normal cages. Our bobcats, servals, caracals each have at least 1,200 square feet as their own home cat attack, but they get a one week vacation in this 22,000 square foot enclosure and they have the whole space to themselves, or if they have a cage mate, that cage mate can come with them. My brother has been helping my father a lot in the building of this cage. His name's Chuck and he's the one who's flying the drone right there. I asked him to give a flyover of the small cat funcation and to see if maybe he could fly through it, which was asking a lot since this is only like his second or third time to fly the drone, but I think he did a pretty great job. We've been toying around with 360 video on a really cheap 360 camera, but we're, we're playing with it right now, and we're also testing some drone footage, and the reason for that is we would really like to present to you a virtual reality type experience where you can experience these cats in a way that you can't anywhere else. And I think this is the first steps toward an entire industry that would be able to produce an experience that didn't require real cats having to live in cages. And maybe if those kinds of experiences were better than the real thing, better than seeing cats in cages and zoos and backyards and neighbors' basements, that people would invest money in doing those kinds of things that aren't harming animals by keeping them captive. So this is our first attempt at trying to maneuver around, see whether or not we even can fly inside of a cage and also in trying to see how the cats react to the drone. So far, we've been really surprised that the only reaction we've seen so far is that it puts off a lot of wind when it's close to the ground and the cats want to lay under it because <laughs> it's hot out there and that breeze feels great. There's no cat in this cage right now or we wouldn't be inside the cage and have the doors all standing open but we were flying it around and watching the cats from a distance to see how they were doing with the drone. And in one of the other videos that you may have seen where Kali was coming off of vacation from the two and a half acre vacation rotation, part of what you didn't see in that process was that as we flew the drone down close to her, she just rolled over on her back and laid her belly open to the fans of the blades. She seemed to like the drone a lot. 
So I wasn't here when this was happening, but I think my brother was thinking he was going to fly under this platform and then thought better of it. So stay tuned. We have some plans to quadruple the size of our Bobcat Rehab enclosures and it's going to be very exciting and there's going to be some really cool footage coming with that.